Hi, Frankie and Bookworms. So, I just finished The Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boyne. And it only took me a couple days to read. And, um, basically, let me, I'll tell you what it's about first. Basically, it's about, a, um, it's set during World War II. And a little boy named Bruno, um, his father is a soldier in Germany and Hitler orders him to go to a place called Outwith and the whole family has to go and Outwith is actually Auschwitz which is one of the biggest and most um, notorious concentration camps and um, Bruno at first when he gets there he's nine years old and he's, he's really upset because he used to live in Berlin and he had three best friends for life and you know he, was, he had his grandparents there and all of a sudden he's got to move to this new place and the house isn't as big as it was and there's all these soldiers around and so he's kind of upset at first and he just wants to go home and he basically just sits inside the house all day and then one day he decides that alright I'm going to go exploring because I want to be an explorer when I grow up so I'm going to do what explorers do and I'm going to go explore so he goes to, um, he goes outside and he walks along the fence and he ends up meeting one of the prisoners of the camp whose name is Shmuel. And they become friends, they're the exact same age, they're born on the same day. They become friends, they talk to each other every day, they meet there every day. Bruno brings them food and neither of them fully understand what's going on. Um, so they kind of piece things together a little bit and don't really get the whole story. Bruno still thinks that the place is called Outwith and he doesn't understand what it is. He doesn't know what it means. He doesn't know anything about the war. He's, you know, he's nine. He's naive. And, um, so he befriends this boy and, um, the story is about their friendship and what happens. Um, I don't know if I can really talk about this without not spoiling it, so... Um, if you haven't read it, it's The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. If you haven't read it or seen the movie, just stop watching because I just can't even talk about it without talking about it. Um, so, Bruno, um, like about a year later, his grandmother dies and his mom is starting to just be like, you know, this this is not a place for kids and she has an argument with Bruno's father and Bruno's father finally says okay fine I'm gonna send you guys back home to Berlin Bruno finds out and he's like well I want to leave my friend Shmuel you know this is my only friend now I don't know anyone anymore so he he really wants to stay but it turns out that his father definitely is going to send them back home so he decides that he's gonna go visit Shmuel one more time and tell him that the next day is the last time they're going to get to see each other and that they should meet and, you know, say their goodbyes kind of thing. So he goes to see him and he says, tells him he's going to leave and Shmuel's like, oh, I don't want you to leave. He's like, I don't want to leave either. And he says, they come up with a plan to, um, they, they, they talk about how they never, they never got to play together. They've been friends for a year and they've never even you know, gotten to actually play together, little, you know, ten, nine, ten-year-old kids, I'm sure at this point they're like ten. So they come up with a plan that they're going to sneak Bruno under the fence and Shmuel's going to bring him a pair of pajamas and they're going to do it the next day. So the next day he goes, after it rains and stuff, and he goes and meets him and at about the point that he put the pajamas on that Shmuel brought him, I said to myself, he's going to go in there and he's going to end up getting put in one of the gas chambers. And sure enough, they go in there and they're looking around for Shmuel's father because Shmuel's father has disappeared without a trace.